If you control the people, you control the planet. It's that simple. And boy, do they control the people. Remember over, it was 2000, the Chinese announced a goal that by 2001, they wanted every home in China to have a TV free. Compliments of the People's Liberation Army, Communist Chinese Central Government in Beijing. They did it. They know this is the ultimate way to control. This is where wars are fought, educations are given and taken away, mass social engineering occurs. It's all through the TV. This is the ultimate drug. I'll never forget the first time I got it, and it was in college, and I looked uh, in my living room at a house, and uh, there were, I don't know, a number of people over watching TV. One of my roommates had some people over. I wasn't. I just happened to walk in. And they were all staring at the at the tube. And it was up on a, a table above eye level. And they were all essentially looking up at it. And there was no talking. There was total obedience to what was being beamed at them. And it was as if out of that TV were sets of, of tubes, like an IV drip. And each one of them had a tube in the arm while they were watching it. They were under complete control. And this is way back in the infancy of, of television compared to what it is now, HD and all that. But I knew then that that was the, the means of control. And it, it turned out to be, and then some. Uh, and boy, do they have it nailed. They got it knocked down. Now they got the Internet, which is really, and don't kid yourselves, the Internet is TV. It's TV. It's not junk commercial television, but it's still TV. And Internet is is turning into an essential godlike presence. So it's on the net. Well, look it up. Google it. Google has become the most dangerous verb in the English language. Google it. Google, and Jordan, I'm sure, will agree with this, in my humble estimation, is essentially becoming, it's morphing into, by design, the most, God. thank you, the most overwhelming force on the planet, a godlike presence. Yeah. Jordan just said it. God. It's the, the divine presence. That's what I always call God, the divine presence. It's Look this. at the first three letters, Jordan. G-O-O. Yeah. The O is pretty damn similar to a D, isn't it? Of course, yeah. And... Uh, I think Google is connected somehow to the concept of God somewhere. I read that a long time ago. And uh, and Yahoo, Yahoo is simply the Hebrew God, Yahweh, Jehovah, Yahweh. If you look in the dictionary, look up Yahweh, Y-H-W-H or Y-H-V-H, Yahweh, Yahweh. And it will tell you that Yahweh of the Hebrew, Yahweh, it can be spelled different ways, Y-H-W-H, Y-H. B H or Y O H O O or Y A H O O Yahoo. That's in the dictionary. Yahoo is the Jewish God, Yahweh, Jehovah. And uh, that's you know, fascinating. I didn't, I didn't write mm -hmm. the dictionary. I'm just telling you where to go look. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's all right there. It's, it's, this is a extraordinarily well planned ancient system that uh, you know. Slowly but surely, I mean, I, I said this before in your show, that when you take a picture of professional photography, you go into a dark room, and that's when it, things develop in the dark room, and you have a, a small red light, and therefore you're dumping it, the pictures into the, the solution. And slowly but surely, it begins to uh, manifest what is on the picture, but it's done in the dark room. And that's exactly what's happening today. They're slowly but surely developing a situation on the earth which is becoming more and more defined and more and more uh, in your face. Uh, and and it's, it's, it's a picture. It's already been photographed. It's already been prepared. Right. We're, we're seeing it granulate together into a sharply defined cohesive image. And that that's image right. is, is not pretty. The, the analogy is very good. Although now you see it, and the controllers knew a hundred years ago that they were eventually going to have technology undreamed of. That's what Orwell was writing about. He knew. He knew. Of course. 
They okay. have it now. So the image of someone developing a photo in a dark room in a, 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 a pan, a deep pan of solution, now, of course, has been supplanted by speed of light digital imagery. It's all speed. Now, let me take that and ask you to comment, Jordan. I have said for years that we are a junked out culture. Junked out in terms of audio, video, amphetamines. Our kids are strung out at the earliest possible age so they cannot sit still and they are unweanable away from the pace of input, audio, video. And now it's almost a sensory thing, too. It's getting real close to that. But they cannot slow down. They cannot sit still. They cannot read. They cannot think for themselves. It's on to the next moment, the next distraction, the next piece of input, the next piece of textured data that they're given, to like little candies. They're junked out on it. They are addicted to speed of image and speed of sound. Yep. Sound bites. We even have that professional term <clears throat> in, in the media. Sound bites. That's all it is. Just a sound bite. Just throw something in there real quick. So and so did this, this, and that. That's it. Move on. Uh, because, it's all about pace. Uh, all about pace. Yeah, it's all well planned to quickly feed something to people, and you know their minds are so far gone now that nobody cares to do any research uh, on it anyway. No contest. <laughs> so uh, it's really very, very serious and. It's very scary because I know once you do this to young children, they're going to grow up with no grounding, no intelligence, no wisdom, no understanding. They're going to have offspring, and their offspring is going to, you know, be the same way. And before you know it, you know, humanity will have paid the price for what has been done to us. Uh, and it's it's extraordinarily frightening. Because look at the world and where it's going. And uh, I don't think there's anybody who's got more than 500 brain cells that doesn't know everything in the United States is corrupt. Our education, our law, <clears throat> governmental systems, the, the law enforcement, uh, educational institutions. I mean, you can't name any institute, institutional a thing in America that we don't know already. It's totally corrupt. Every component is gone. Every, uh, every yeah. single one corrupt. Yeah. Yep. So yep. that's where we're going. And the people couldn't care less because they don't understand any of it. They couldn't care less. And in the tragedy of it, is, as Jordan just said, because they don't understand. How can they think and come to a decision on what's happening to them when they no longer have the tools or the ability? Nothing, no bedrock to measure against, no past history. That's right. uh, our world is not their world. They don't understand what we understand. Then they, and they never will, unless they're fortunate well. enough to grow up in a very special family, a very special home. We have, we have idiot children now strung out on audio, video, toxic food, toxic air, toxic water, toxic lifestyle, toxic culture, toxic finances, toxic economy. We have those people raising idiot children. And yep. the the net result is it's game, set, and match. It's done. It's done. Well, the controller's thank, thank won. God, at least we've got football and sports. If nothing That's right. I, boy, I can't wait till Saturday.